welcome back to my kitchen. You guys, before we talk about this cake, I just had a delicious cherry mango icy. So if you noticed right away that my tongue is like really, really red, that's why. Okay? All right. So let's get to this socket to me pound cake. This is another southern traditional pound cake. And if I had a nipple for every time I've received a request to do this cake, I might have a little change in my pocket. So we're doing it today. Um, surprisingly, I've never had a socket to me cake. But I'm gonna socket to me today. How about that? Okay? So this is what we're going to do. I'm going to be using, of course, my Swans Down cake flour. I'm using three cups of it. And then I have half teaspoon of baking powder and I've already added it to my three cups of swans down and all those swans down comes pre-sifted for you in the box when you purchase it from the grocery store it's already pre-sifted but once I add that baking powder I like to sift it just one more time and this is my sifted flour and baking powder okay then today I'm only using two and a half cups of sugar. We have six large eggs today. They are room temperature and as you see I've already cracked them. And then we have three sticks of unsalted butter and they are also room temperature. And today we're going to use one cup of sour cream. It's also room temperature. Now for our delicious filling, I think that's all the other ingredients. I have, let me look at my little notes. I have one cup of toasted pecans. You guys, whenever you are baking and you are using the pecans, please toast them. It brings out the nuttiness, that nutty flavor that's in the pecans, and it's absolutely wonderful, okay? So take the time to toast your pecans. I usually do mine on 350 for about, maybe about five to seven minutes. Just kind of keep your eye on them so that they won't burn, but make sure you toast your pecans, okay? And then I also have one fourth cup of brown sugar. I have two teaspoons, two teaspoons of ground cinnamon that's in here. And you guys, I'm a nutmeg girl. I love nutmeg. So I've also added about one fourth teaspoon of ground nutmeg. So that's all in here. And what I'm going to do is, I'm going to mix it all up. Um, you want to make sure that your brown sugar isn't clumpy, okay? And make sure everything, ooh, the nuttiness of those pecans smells so good. Mmm, just me stirring just a little bit. Oh, my goodness. So, please, you guys, please, ma'am, please, sir, take the time to toast your pecans but I'm gonna mix this up really good before I add it to my batter but just mix it up really well to make sure you've gotten all of those lumps out of your brown sugar and that all of the cinnamon and nutmeg and everything is just really incorporated evenly because you don't want to bite into like a clump of nutmeg or a clump of cinnamon you know just mix it up well okay now if you don't want to use nutmeg you don't have to if you don't want that much uh, cinnamon, you don't have to use that much. If you want less cinnamon, you can use less. If there's another flavor that you want to add, like if by chance you maybe wanted to add some ginger, I don't know why, but it, if you did, honey, it's your cake. You can add what you want to add as it pertains to the spices in your filling, okay? All right. So, 
is that everything? And then we're going to do oh, also my one fourth teaspoon of salt. And then I've not pulled out my extracts. For my extracts, we are going to use some vanilla. I'm going to use some vanilla. I'm going to use at least a tablespoon of this vanilla and probably just a little drop of my cream bouquet. Okay? Just because I want to. You don't have to do that. You can just strictly do vanilla. If you want another flavoring or extract, then feel free to do that as well. Okay, is that everything? If by chance I've forgotten something, all of the ingredients are always in the description box below. Um, I'm going to do a simple vanilla glaze. My oven has been is preheating. It's preheating to 325 degrees. So it will be ready once we've, we're done with this cake. Mixing it. Okay, I think that's it, you guys. I think that's it. Um, all right, of course, I've washed my hands. Don't be in the kitchen with nasty hands. Right, because that's just nasty. I'm adding my three sticks of softened, unsalted butter to my mixing bowl. Trying to make sure I get every bit of my butter. Every bit of it. Off of this wrapper. And then I'm going to turn the mixer on and I'm going to mix up this butter for maybe about maybe about a minute or so. Okay. And then once that's mixed up, then I'm going to slowly start adding my two and a half cups of sugar. And I'm going to cream my butter and my sugar for about 12 minutes. Now I will have to stop the mixer a couple of times and scrape down the sides of my bowl because what's going to happen is that sugar and that butter is going to start collecting on the sides of my bowl and I don't have a built-in scraper so I need to stop and scrape it down because if it's on the sides up here it's not getting creamed okay so make sure that you stop your mixer if you need to to scrape down a couple of times you cannot rush this process Okay, you need to be totally creamy and fluffy. So I'm going to also show you what light and fluffy looks like. Okay, you don't want to hear those sugar crystals mixing around in the bottom of your bowl. So set a timer, go do something else while this butter and sugar is creamy. Because if not, it can affect the outcome of your cake. It can be dense, it, can, it could fall. Um, you want that light and fluffy texture. So don't rush it. All right? Okay, so once we get creamed up, then I'm going to come back and let you see what light and fluffy looks like. And also when I cream, I cream on high. So I have this mixture set on maybe about 8 or 9. Okay, so let's get creamed up. Then we're going to add the sugar and then I'll stop and let you see what light and fluffy looks like. You guys, I totally forgot, before I really get to mixing this butter, I forgot to add my salt. I'm going to go in and add my 1 4th teaspoon of salt. And also, I add my extracts at the beginning as well. That way they are incorporated through the entire mixing process, okay? Yeah, that was a hefty 1 tablespoon. Then just a little smidget of my cream bouquet. I refer to it as bakery in a bottle. Totally not necessary. I'm going to add about a half teaspoon. You know. So if you don't have it, don't worry about it. But I love cream bouquet. Okay. Now, again, I'm going to mix up this butter, the extracts, and the sugar for maybe about a minute. And then I'm going to start the butter, the extracts, and the salt. Huh, get it together, lady. I'm going to mix that up for about a minute, and then I'm going to slowly start adding my sugar. Once all of the sugar is added, then I'm going to set my timer for 12 minutes.
12 minutes later, we are light and fluffy, okay? That's what we want. So again, just take your time and make sure you properly cream your butter and sugar, okay? So now when I turn the mixer back on, I'm going to turn it down just a little bit, maybe about to seven, maybe about seven, and then we're going to add our six eggs one at a time. Sometimes when you're adding eggs, two of them like to jump in. If, the, if it does, no worries. Just mix a few seconds longer, and it usually takes me not long at all. I mix until most of that yolk has pretty much disappeared. That may take about 10, 10 seconds or so. Um, and then that's when I'll add the next egg, okay? So once we get all six of our eggs added, then I'm going to start adding my dry and wet ingredients. You always want to start with your dry, your flour. You always want to end with your dry, your flour, okay? So I'm going to pour in some of the flour and then you guys will see how long I'm going to mix before I add. I'll probably add about half of this sour cream and then I'll add more flour. But you don't want to over mix during this process. So once I start adding the flour, I'm going to turn this mixer down to about two. Okay, you want to mix on low. If you over mix here, you can have the same results. Your cake can fall. It can be gummy. It can be too dense. Okay, so don't over mix. So when you start mixing the flour, it doesn't take nearly as long as it does when you're creaming your butter and sugar. Okay, so you'll see how long I wait when I add the flour before I add a little bit of sour cream. And that kind of gives you an idea of how long I wait in between alternating and then you're going to see me add that last little bit of flour I'm not going to bore you with this whole back and forth process okay so you'll see me add that last little bit of flour and then we'll be ready to pour this cake in the cake pan and bake Now make sure when you are mixing the flour 
that you also stop a couple of times and scrape down your bowl. Okay? So what I'm going to do now is just make sure everything is mixed up well. Go under the bottom to make sure everything has been incorporated. And then this way you can mix a little more without over mixing using the mixer. Okay. So, in the meantime, I have thoroughly sprayed my cake pan with Baker's Joy. And I'm going to pour, let's see, make sure you can see my cake pan. Okay. I'm going to pour about at least maybe a little more than half of this batter in here. Just a tad bit more. Ooh. Okay. Now I want to go on and try to get the air bubbles out of this part before I add the filling. Okay. I'm not going to get it like this after I add that filling because it will encourage the filling to sink and I don't want that to happen. Okay. So now we're just going to take our filling and as even as possible just add it to the batter. And this should create this delicious ribbon of brown sugar. And I use the light brown sugar, by the way. You feel free to use dark brown if you want to. But brown sugar, pecans, and cinnamon, and a little bit of nutmeg. So now I'm just going to add the rest of the batter on top of it. And then we're just going to smooth it out. And that's all we're doing is smoothing. We're not going to run a knife down in to swirl it. No swirling. Barely shaking. And we're going in the oven. 325 degrees. I bake my cakes in the middle of my oven, so I adjust one of my racks to where it's in the middle of the oven. I'm going to set my timer for about an hour and 10 minutes because I will certainly be able to smell it at that time or by then. And I'm sure that cinnamon and hint of nutmeg is going to be smelling wonderful. And really quick, since I just put the cake in the oven, I'm going to show you how easy it is to make a glaze. Then we are doing a vanilla glaze. Most of the time I start, you guys, I really don't measure, but we're going to start with maybe about two cups of powdered sugar. 
I'm going to use about a teaspoon of vanilla flavoring, a teaspoon or more. When you start with your milk, just do a little bit at a time. A little bit at a time, okay? So, to try to give you a measurement, maybe start with a tablespoon or two tablespoons max. Because what happens if you get it too runny or too loose, you're going to have to add more powdered sugar to compensate. Okay? I like to start off with mine being very pretty thick because it helps me to smooth it out okay and if you add it in the beginning and it gets kind of gummy where it's hard for you to stir like I'm dealing with you see that that's gummy so I, I, I can't really trying to show can't really stir that so I know I need to add just a tad bit more so you guys be careful and just a little bit at a time because if you add too much you're going to need more powdered sugar okay so it's better to add a little at a time than to add too much and you see how this is loosening up for me okay i never use a mixer you guys i always do this by hand because it's so quick and easy not to mention it's a great arm workout <laughs> but that's still kind of thick which allows me to get it very smooth and creamy you guys just that quick look at that beautiful creamy glaze okay easy peasy don't make it difficult all right glaze is done so we're just gonna let this sit and if by chance like if you do this and you feel like it has sat for a while like if you do it early now like I'm doing it if you feel like it's too thick, when you get ready to use it, then add just a tad bit more milk and that will loosen it right back up. Okay, we have baked about an hour and 15 minutes. So now we're going to sit here and cool for another 10 minutes before I flip. We are flipping. I don't know why I had this knitting on getting in my way. So now we're going to cool some more because I don't want to put the glaze on it just yet. I don't want it totally cool when I glaze it because my glaze is really a little thicker today. So um, if I put, it, put the glaze on when it's still a little warm, it's going to help it kind of run you know and do its own thing okay so we're gonna cool a little while longer before we glaze you gonna eat some cake we're glazing you guys look you're gonna eat some cake oh you want me to pick you up <laughs> you guys and i did this glaze really thick today like really 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 thick really thick what's the matter guys I have a helper you gonna help me today hmm. you are you ready to eat some cake say okay, you ready hmm. socket to me pound cake
you guys I was in the mood for an extra heavy thick glaze on today all of the extra glaze is down in the hole it is time you yeah. like you really want some cake little bitty baby dude what you want Y'all, I got real, real heavy-handed with the ice, the glaze today. I kind of like one it like icing style, so it's really heavy. Let's see, man. There you go, kick, kick, yeah, yeah. Oh, you go down here with that nose now. I'm telling. smelling, don't it's, it's a fragrance. Let me say um, a certain taste. I know what you're smelling. I'm smelling, I'm telling you. Dude, you might not want it because it's got some. Um, you need to cut them. Look, look, you red, ain't you, baby? Yeah, he ain't getting no money. Get him a little baby saucer. Let me get him. What? Get him a little baby saucer. How you gonna get him a little baby saucer? Get, 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 this. All he gonna do is throw it on the floor and lick it. Give me a fork. Give me a big fork. Ooh, wee. What? What you mean give you a big fork? I smell something in this. What is it, what is it that I'm smelling? I ain't gonna tell you. I'm smelling something. I'm gonna find it down. Mm. I'm gonna find it down. It's about to smell holiday-ish. Holiday-ish? Mm-hmm. It's about to. Oh, my God. What are you doing? What kind is it? You're going to have to guess. You, you're not going to ever guess this one. I promise you I'm going to guess this one. I'm going to guess this one. Let me see this one. Why are you in my snack can? Look at that. Y'all see that ribbon of goodness? That hunk of goodness right there. I said a fork. A, a normal fork. A normal fork. Just give me. Let me guess. Let me guess what it is. Mm. I'm going to guess. I guess I'm going to get this and eat it. Mm -hmm. Oh, be careful. This is pecans. No? Be careful, little bit of baby dude. You want some cake? You've been trying to get some ever since you came in the door here. Look, y'all. Look at that. Mm. Now, this is roasted almonds. <laughs> roasted pecans. I cannot with him. Wait a minute, y'all. Cricket. You reaching, baby. Okay, no, no, get ready to some. Here, here. There, there. You play too much. Here. Say thank you. It's almost like Christmas. It's called a soccer tummy cake. It has pecans. Is it good? I'm not going to give you any pecans. A soccer tummy cake. What are you making now, don't you? <laughs> Say what? That cake ain't What you say? <laughs> what kind of cakes we making now? Socket tummy cake? What's that? This ain't a Christian cake, girl. It's just called socket tummy, baby. I don't like the name of this cake. Now. This don't sound family friendly. <laughs> He's like, mmm, did you really? Yes. <laughs> He's like, oh, we did good. That's what you were trying to get when... Well, no, no, I was icing, icing in the cake. Y'all, I thought I was going to be Jima, but I'm going to be Nana because we think he's been trying to say my name. So it's not coming out Donna, it's coming out Nana. We're going to go with the Nana. How about that? He know how to say my name, right? What? You know, he said, what, 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 what? So now I have to make sure I call, call him Papa. But see, you're not supposed to say that. It's Papa. Say Papa. Oh, let me show you guys the cake. Like, Listen, lady. Okay, we're standing here with Papa. No, we can't handle my cake. I'm he, sorry. You being stingy. Y'all look at the. It's like a. Y'all see that hunk of the goodness in the middle? You see it? We didn't swirl it or anything. It's like it's a ribbon through there of the. um. Pecans. 
So it's pecans. Do you have any germs? It's, it's cinnamon. Don't give him any pecans, baby. You can't eat pecans? I, I just want to make sure that they're probably they're too chunky for him. So make sure he's not getting any pecans. Too chunky. Pe <laughs> I cannot with you look, sir. Could you uh wait a minute, I got a piece of cake on top of there. Okay. Babe, you gonna look up? <laughs> Yeah, I got that glaze good and thick. No. That's not right, baby. I got that. Oh, that's, not bad, that's not nice. You're not gonna tease him. Don't why you eat my cake. Look, can't you tell those pecans are roasted? Mm -hmm. Oh, wait a minute, I have to get my back corner. That's the big back corner. Now the peanut horn one, it just tastes, let me see. Yeah, good. You remind me like of a holiday or I'm sure it's because of the cinnamon. <laughs> <laughs> what are you doing? Mm. Mm. Okay, you guys. So, listen. That day is all right. Maybe you're going to have to let your co-workers know. It has pecans in it. That's good, ain't it? I guess that ribbon of flavor is the socket part. And you don't swirl it or anything. You just put a layer of it and then finish with the icing. I keep calling it icing because it's so thick. But it's glazed. It's a real, real heavy glaze. Put your little nasty fingers in my cake. Here, babe. Here. Okay, you guys. Well. Okay. Wash your little baby hands. Yeah. Wash your nasty hands. Okay, you guys. Listen, thank you guys so much for watching. If you enjoyed the video, please give it a thumbs up. If you've not subscribed, please sugar. consider subscribing. It's brown sugar in there too. Mm -hmm. brown it's brown sugar. sugar, pecans, cinnamon, and a little bit of nutmeg. Mm -hmm. This is right there in the middle. It's kind of like. It's like a surprise, though. Mm -hmm. Just like a surprise me cake. You like a surprise me cake rather than psychotimic? Yeah, I'm about to surprise me cake because that just don't. You don't like psychotimic? I don't like this little boy. Look, let me tell you something, girl. You better quit playing games. Look, I ain't doing that. Okay, thank you guys so much for watching. We already look forward to you. You gonna say bye bye? Joining us again next time. Hit the nosy. Say bye. Say bye. Bye bye. Bye bye. Bye bye. Not right now. As soon as I turn the camera off, you're gonna wave. Say bye. Bye bye. Not today. Okay. Okay. Bye.